Hello and welcome back to Cut. This week's lineup are mostly dramas and quite a few light works in between. The first is The Backup Plan. This comedy is about the woman who had enough of waiting for Mr. Right. She decides to have a child anyway. But on that day, she meets a man she fell for, and so she finds dating, marriage, and family happening backwards. I'm sorry to be married with kids by now, but I still haven't found the one. The elusive one. Good luck! What is the I guess it's time for my backup plan. <laughs> Are you high? It says here he has red hair and freckles. I have a feeling that you and CRM1014 are gonna make beautiful babies together. Whoa, you don't have to walk like that. Oh, okay. Hi. Hi. Excuse me. I didn't see you. I saw you see me. Forget it, I'll get out. But not because you're right, but because I'm in a terrific mood and you're ruining this. Here's that guy. He's hot. Hi. Did you follow me? Follow you? Okay, now this is getting weird. I know, we keep running into each other. It's crazy. What are you doing tonight? You gonna see him again? I think so. I'll call you. I'll wait by the phone. But what if I'm pregnant? Do you believe in me? Let me break you! Congratulations! How are we feeling? We're freaking out! What she said. This guy is special. Where have you been? Now the whole thing's gonna fall apart. There's something that I have to tell you. I have something I need to tell you too. You go first. I love you. It's not the answer I was hoping for. I'm pregnant. I'm pretty sure it doesn't happen that fast. It was before I met you. Hey. I had no idea. I thought we were supposed to date for a year or two before it gets serious. Then we'd get married, and then we'd have kids. What's it like, the whole kid thing? It's awful, awful, awful. And then a small moment happens that's so magical that it makes it all worthwhile. Dada. I guess this would be that moment, huh? What do you have there, son? Poo-poo. I love you. You two should get in here. Oh, no. Come on. It is really quite beautiful. Oh, what is that? The Backup Plan. Another light movie about couples and children is Away We Go. Here, a couple tries to find the right town to start their family. Instead of finding the perfect role model for themselves, they meet relatives and old friends who might just help them understand what home and family is all about. Does this mean you guys will finally get married? I almost left Lowell about a dozen times. Kids don't know that. Well, I have been quietly And what if something happens to one of us and just makes us go crazy? All we can do is be good for this one baby. Right. We don't have control over much else. And my eyes confound me And it's just too bright What's wrong with strollers? I love my babies. Why would I want to push them away from me? As the days keep turning into night. Can I get a stroll? Sweetheart, listen to your heart. And it's coming into sight. I'll always love you. Even if it takes you months to lose this weight. It's even breathing. Even if you're enormous. Go ahead and write that in stone. I'm gonna do something about those ears. He looks like a trophy. I just don't think we should be talking about it right in front of the children. Oh, please, Bert, it's just white noise to them. Listen, watch this. Taylor. 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 <laughs> I could keep going on and on. For more of Kristen Stewart before the third Twilight movie, here's The Runaways, which she co stars with Dakota Fanning. This movie is about the female rock group in the 1970s and how it shot to fame. It revolves around Joanne and Sherry and how the group had to deal with tours, problems with record labels and their abusive manager, all while being only teenagers. My name is Sherry and my life was ready for a change. It really looks terrible. Good. It all started with Joan. I'm Joan Jive. I want to start an all-girl rock band. Once we met. We love your look. We are choosing you to be a part of rock and roll history. We did what no one else thought we could do. You know how many bands think they're going to make it? Well, excuse me if I don't want to work at the Puppin' Fries for the rest of my life. People said we were a bad influence. Open up, you filthy vomit. But who are they to tell us that? What is this? It ain't baby shampoo. We were about to make rock and roll history. 
We did it. Mercury Records. We got signed. We got signed! Runaways have the most chance of any group I've seen over and over. to tear this world apart. Can't stay at home, can't stay in school. I just got to spend time with my family. Your family? Are we not your family now? We were the first girls to rock. And we did it the only way we knew how. On our own. Our next drama is Mother and Child. This is about adoption and three women who are barely in control of their lives. There is 50-year-old Karen who can't get over the doctor she gave up when she was young. There is Elizabeth, the daughter who used her sex appeal to get what she wants. And there's Lucy who's trying to adopt a child of her own and soon their lives intertwine with one another. Simpler than that. I know in my heart that we will meet one day and you will forgive me. Little one, little love, little hands, look how they hold. I want a child of my own. I have made a commitment. That's my baby. But if that's my child you're carrying, I want you to come back and be with me. And there's no you don't know who I am or what I want. Every thought in my head takes me back to her. I have nothing to give. Give every part of it, you're at the heart of it, little one, little What's special about this week is that we get two French movies both directed by famous figures. Hallelujah is a comedy about Mario, a newly released thief, who's trying to run away from some enemies. His brothers a priest and with his help, Mario disguised himself as one. Unfortunately, the villagers had just lost their priest and expect Mario to be the replacement. Then, Mario sends his brother to sell some precious jewels to the local mob boss and the brothers end up taking each other's place. The other French movie is District 13, The Ultimatum. This continues from the earlier movie where now five powerful gang bosses are fighting to control the area. Damien and Leto now have to make new friends and restore peace before the city's secret services decide to just destroy the sector. So that's all for now, and I'm Elaine Yuki. Until next week, happy watching! by crime, overrun by corruption, and District 13 is ground zero, and the clock is ticking. Now, two partners will reunite to take control. Patrick Alessandro, Cyril Raffaelli, David Bell, and the sequel that takes action to new heights. Yeah!